Bez Valley, a derelict Johannesburg suburb. Crime is rife here, but it's also a place where ex-convicts find their feet again. Among them, the scarred 49-year-old Michael Shabalala. This is a bullet, this one. He was only 16 years old when he was arrested for murder in Soweto in 1994. When cops were coming to us as youngsters, they never thought that these people are armed. That is the first thing. And when we fired shots, they fired after we. You understand? Unfortunately, two cops got shot and passed away. He spent 35 years behind bars. I was out of line. When he was finally released in 2012, a hostile reception. Aggressively so. No, we know you. You'll kill somebody not so long. He is slowly rebuilding his life as an operations manager at this company, providing security among other services. Working like this and giving back to the community, it what it's what is this my, 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 my inner being because I was a destroyer of the community. You understand? But today as I've went to prison and came back, I need to show the people that they thought that it's finished. It's not yet, it is the beginning. About 90 kilometers south of Bez Valley, this long corrective journey awaits many others. Grunpent Maximum Security Prison is home to 4,400 inmates, deprived of freedom and life's comforts. The first thing, the door that opens, it hits here on the heart. Paying their debt to society. I'm not proud for what I've did. A quadruple murder in 2012 put 41-year-old Sabata Mukwena in this prison. So you killed four people on that day? Yeah. Among his victims, three on-duty police officers. I won't tell you I didn't have a choice. I'll be lying. I had a choice. But they decided to do something wrong. I had a no in my own mouth. My mother teach me how to say no. But I didn't say that because I wanted to be popular. For what? Mukwena is serving 25 years. Four of his co-accused were murdered in gang fights in jail. No one took away my freedom. Let me tell you something. No one away took away my freedom. I took away my freedom with my own hands while I'm watching. Where are my friends today? Those I wanted to impress. None of them ever visited me in prison. Also angered by news of the wave of gender-based violence. We watch TV every day. We listen to radio every day. Nothing more than that I hear every day that breaks my heart, that kills me, that destroys me, that hurts me, that makes me angry. That I could break and explode. Women and children abused. Some of these perpetrators are already behind bars. Rape convict Mukon Isitole got 10 years. Ish. My brother, I want to cry. Yeah. What that thing is not right. Sitole blames peer pressure and alcohol abuse. When I go outside, I want to do something like catering. Yeah, yeah, I want to, I want to change the community. Many of these skills can be acquired in prison as part of rehabilitation and reintegration programs. Grunpent inmates are spoiled for choice, from farming and cooking to artisan training. We are really doing everything possible to, you know, drum up rehabilitation so that when people leave these correctional facilities, they don't come back. They go out there, you know, to find something, utilize a second chance, you know, out of, you know, the certificates and the skills that, you know, they would have acquired from, from our centers. You get a situation where offenders, those who have come to terms that they have done wrong, take up an opportunity to be educated be trained in skills, come out of prison and cannot be employed due to their previous criminal record that holds them as economic hostages for the rest of their miserable life. And that should have been addressed by now 25 years down the line. The aim 
is to help them not to reoffend and make a living outside the prison system amid persistent stigmatization. I'm going to make sure that I apologize until there's nothing left in me. Prisons are notorious for overcrowding, corruption, drugs, gangsterism, and human rights violations. Killing yourself could be that stay out of jail card. Marikita Matave, SABC News, Grundbent in the Valley. A 17 year old learner from Soisarenica in the northwest is making strides carrying the cost of prosthetic limbs. Farida Kaji 